I'm going to be talking to you today about depression, and I wanted to do that because depression is a very common disorder that many patients with Parkinson's disease suffer with. Many of those patients don't recognize that they have depression, and this leads to a problem because they suffer really unduly uh, because they haven't sought treatment for their disorder. So let me, if I may, tell you a little bit first about what depression is and how common it is in people with Parkinson's disease so that you'll have a greater understanding uh, of the disorder. Depression probably occurs in between 50 and 60 percent of patients with Parkinson's disease. Um, in most cases, it's mild, but in, certainly in some patients it can be much more severe or even disabling. So that it's a very common problem. It's a problem that is, uh, that is probably misdiagnosed or not recognized in many instances. And the reason for that is that some of the symptoms of depression are similar to the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Uh, and therefore, the physician does not recognize that depression is a problem in addition to the Parkinson's disease. So what are the symptoms of depression? Well, they are very variable. They include, obviously, feelings of sadness, of being um, unhappy with life, of feeling wretched, feeling miserable. Um, but it includes other things. It includes, for example, an inability to make decisions, a certain apathy, a certain loss of energy, a constant feeling of fatigue. It may include disturbances of sleep. It may include changes in appetite, so that people may gain weight or lose weight. A lot of patients who are depressed have really no interest in going out or enjoying life. They may feel guilty. They may feel worthless. They may have difficulty in communicating with other people, and that makes it much more difficult, of course, for physicians or other health care providers to help them. Many patients with depression simply can't make decisions, and this may lead to problems in the family. Um, the family members may find <clears throat> dealing with a patient who is depressed very difficult. Um, and we can come back to that a little later on. But all these, then, are symptoms of depression. Some patients with depression also become very anxious. They become unduly frightened about the future. They worry about themselves constantly. And this worry may be so intense that it may um, block out all their other thoughts or their ability to interact with others in any context. They are simply focused upon themselves and how uh, they're going to cope. So those are some of the symptoms of depression. Now, one of the problems, of course, is that we all worry about ourselves. We all feel fatigued on occasions. We all sometimes feel that life is um, doing us in or is not smiling upon us and so on. We, we all have ups and downs in life. But it's when these symptoms really come to um, really be the major focus of the patient and interfere with the ability of the patient to live a normal, satisfying life, that they really merit uh, a lot of medical attention. Because these symptoms can be increasingly um, overpowering, and indeed some people may eventually feel that life is not worth living. And occasionally patients may even try to harm themselves because life seems so, so miserable and so wretched. Now, people have often wondered why patients with Parkinson's disease become depressed. And it's very difficult to answer that question. Um, I think that parts of the brain that are concerned with our emotional state are involved in patients who have uh, Parkinson's disease. So there may be disturbances of function in the brain in those very areas that affect how we feel. <clears throat> those areas of the brain include parts of the brain that are very frontal in location, for example, and we know that those parts are affected in some of the patients with Parkinson's disease. So that's a little bit, then, um, about depression, about why it occurs in patients who have Parkinson's disease. It seems to be much more common in patients with Parkinson's disease than in patients who have many other sorts 
of chronic uh, disorder. And uh, sometimes, as I say, it can be the major symptom that limits the ability of the patient to um, enjoy life.